Hi, I'm Jacob White. I'm Fernando White. And we're the chefs of Comodoro Restaurant. Comodoro Restaurant is a restaurant located in Newton Center. It's American Chilean cuisine featuring small plates. Today we're going to be making a Brussels sprouts dish for Thanksgiving. This is a dish that we actually make in the restaurant that we've adapted for the home cook. This dish has three components, got garlic aioli, a Chilean pebre, which is a salsa of sorts, and migas. And I'm going to start off by showing you how to make that pebre. So for the pebre, we're going to use some dried chilies. The restaurant we use is New Mexican chilies, they're really nice. If you can't find these, just use anything else. Just think about how spicy you want it when you make that decision. You want to put them in a pot with water and simmer them for about 10 minutes. This is what they look like after. They're nice and soft. And when you pull them out, you definitely want to get all the stem out. And you want to go in your blender. You're just going to take out all the stems. And once they're all in there, you're just going to add about four tablespoons of the liquid and turn it on. and just make sure you scrape everything out. You're gonna add your white onion, small dice, Hungarian chilies. These have a nice like spiciness to them, so I like that. Cilantro, some really nice olive oil in here, like half a cup. You got lemon juice and lime juice all in there. Mix all that up. And salt, just make sure you do it to taste. You should always be tasting all this stuff. Really good. Should be citrusy, have a nice little tang to it. Now we're gonna make the garlic aioli. For that, you're gonna need a blender. I'm just gonna put the eggs in it. Two whole eggs, two egg yolks, nice pinch of salt, one nice sized garlic clove right in there, and your lemon juice, about four tablespoons right in there. You can go ahead and combine your uh, oils before the canola and the olive oil, have them ready to go. I'm just going to turn this on high speed. And you just want to drizzle it all very slowly. And basically when the blender kind of like, you see it, it's like nice and thick and the blender won't keep spinning anymore, kind of you can't see that spiral, that's when it's usually ready. I'm just gonna put it right into this bowl. All right, so now we're gonna start cooking the Brussels sprouts. So we have a pan on, preheated over medium high heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of canola oil. Once the oil's hot, I'm gonna go ahead and add the Brussels sprouts. And for the first minute or so of the cooking process, I'm gonna try not to move the pan around. And the idea right now is to get a good color Get a caramelization on the outside. That's going to help build a lot of flavor. Looks like it's got a nice color on the bottom. I'm going to give the pan a little shake. And this is really what we're going for, is to have some nice color on the outside. I'm going to add a lot of garlic. And I'm not going to be stingy with it. I'm going to add a little bit of Merken, which is a smoked goat's horn chili. There's nothing more traditional than Merken and chili. We use it in everything. And this kind of acts like our house seasoning at Commodore. So I'm going to give the pan a shake. And right now I'm looking to toast the garlic. Now you want to be careful. If you toast it too far, it can get bitter. And I'm ready with my red wine vinegar to stop that cooking process. And this is what really gives the acidity to the dish, so don't be afraid with the red wine vinegar. Then you want to add some of the migas. We make these in-house. Migas are just breadcrumbs. So when you bite into them, you get that extra flavor. And then we're gonna put a little bit more on top. You wanna to make sure that you have enough liquid in the Brussels, because when they're in the oven, they're gonna roast. They're also gonna kind of steam, and that's gonna help the Brussels cook throughout and really get kind of you know tender and soft in the middle. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water before they get in the oven. So that's gonna take about five, six minutes in the oven. You're gonna to wanna to check them periodically. Just taste one, pull it out, kind of feel, make sure they're tender. We'll check them. And we'll eat them. So I think the Brussels are about ready, so I'm gonna plate them in our serving dish. And I wanna make sure that I get all the breadcrumbs and all that good vinegar. And now we're gonna garnish it. You wanna have enough garlic aioli for each bite. After that, you're gonna go in with a little bit more migas. These are gonna give a crunch now in the dish. It's really important to have good texture. And then we're gonna add the paper right over it. It's gonna add the moisture that it needs. Also, kind of that fresh cilantro bite and the crispiness of the onions. It's really gonna tie everything together. And then after that, you just wanna go with some fresh cilantro. For me, there's nothing better than fresh cilantro. It reminds me of home. 
And then the last little thing we're gonna do, sprinkle a little more American. All right, so guys, that's it. That's the Brussels sprouts that we serve at Commodore Restaurant. Now you're ready for Thanksgiving. <laughs>